मान्य श्री पवित्रा मार्गेरिटा थैंक यू सर फॉर गिविंग मी दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू स्पीक ऑन दिस वेरी क्रुशियल बिल ऑन रजिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ प्रेस एंड पीरियोडिकल्स सर वाइल एनी लेजिस्लेशन पार्टेनिंग टू प्रेस एंड पब्लिकेशन इजिली इवोक फियर्स ऑफ सेंसरशिप एंड ऑल and uh, i will try to uh, speak uh, from all the perspectives because fortunately i started my career as a journalist as an editor of a monthly magazine uh, in assam it was a, one of the wide uh, highly circulated monthly magazine called maya so i have got the experience of uh, this title verification registration and luckily right from content generation to composing to typing to uh, read uh, proofreading word by word from comma to semicolon then to layout to print to uh, bind to distribute so it's a really exciting and painful also and to pr produce or to publish uh, the pre uh, periodicals be it a monthly magazine or uh, daily uh, sir uh, for, uh, first thing first uh, this bill with my experience i mean uh, i i am to submit it that this bill seeks to replace the legislation that is 156 year old the press and registration books act 816 1867 it was essentially a tool of the uh, british east india company to exercise uh, their control over the intellectual activity of uh, the indians during the british raj uh, that is why i am really thankful to my minister and uh, the government for taking the steps to replace the uh, 156 year old uh, uh, act sir india is a country with a booming uh, publishing industry uh, that is estimated to what uh, to be worth about 25000 crore and to uh, according to an estimate we have in india 144000 uh, daily newspaper and other periodicals in my state of assam also according to the data available in my state of assam we have 42 dailies 58 weeklies 24 monthlies and uh, other uh, some uh, bimonthly and fortnightly periodicals also all of us know that we have a very strong that we our country has a very strong history in print media we uh, the first uh, periodical was published in uh, 1870 uh, 1780 1780 that is, that was uh, bengal gazette and in assam also we published the first periodical in 1846 that is orunodoy uh, since the, uh, the inception of our uh, publication or uh, periodicals in india we have a very strong legacy we have a very strong history and uh, according to an estimate in india daily more than 250 books are published so it's a huge industry and it uh, it is so dynamic it is very tough for a uh, act which is 156 year old it is very tough for the act to manage this huge and this uh, booming industry that is why uh, this uh, amendment uh, this uh, amendment uh, uh, on registration of press and periodical bill is uh, being moved and uh, we welcome it sir the press and registration of periodicals bill is a reflection of the uh, reflection of honorable prime minister narendra modi's commitment for uh, doing uh, ease of doing business and trans uh, transparency in Uh, business in the uh, process of business so uh, the main point i have noticed here is uh, the title uh, title verification and registration so 25 years ago i had the experience of title verification me myself applied for at that time we uh, we had to collect the form from the dm's office or dc's office deputy commissioner's office then manually you have to fill up even now you have to fill it up manually although it is available in the website you can download download it and to fill up the columns and to submit it to the concerned district authorities then after some verification they will send it to the uh, the uh, office of the press registrar general then they will verify whether uh, the, the proposed or desired names are already been enlisted in the long list 
it may be now uh, it may also be now manually i don't know but it's a long process so suppose uh, i have collected the form at uh, my name as a publisher is being written then my address then the proposed name suppose number 1 Uh, my uh, the or the anyone the group or groups or individuals uh, application would uh, uh, have the would have to fill the columns the desert names number 1 suppose east india company number 2 suppose uh, east india company number 2 suppose india uh, bansbad company like this three four names may, they may apply for and they the register will verify whether the, the names are already in use then they will again send to the district office then the district office will summon the applicant the another verification it's a lengthy process of 6 months to 1 year or maybe more but this new bill the, the this new bill will enable in uh, doing all these things in a very simplified a very smart way everything will be available online one has to apply online the verification of uh, title the simultaneously as our honorable minister has mentioned simultaneously uh, the registration process will also uh, proceed so this system will take hardly 6 months or uh, 2 months as uh, said by our honorable minister so as a uh, as a person from that fraternity also because uh, i have already mentioned that i have, 